who we're going to be seeing a lot more of you, because <coughs> we love to see you, as you know. Yes, yeah, some very, very exciting news. Yes. Exciting news. Uh, Lisa and I have got a new show coming to ITV. Which is Straight great. after our Sunday show. After the Sunday show, yeah. which is called John and Lisa's Weekend Kitchen. And what we're doing is we're going to go... fiancé, can we say? Oh, my fiancé, that's what fiancé. Fiance. Um, and the idea is really to go back to basics and mm. things like making cakes and jam and actually try and get the nation back to being relaxed about food yeah. rather than being worried about it, because I think we're all getting so pent up about, oh, we've got to do special things. Food should be a bit from the heart, mm. and, and that's what we're trying to do, a little bit more of but that. Mood food and... Yeah, shit. but also, you know, how to, how to actually just make a decent sauce for a, a bowl of pasta. How you are know? you two working together in the kitchen? Obviously, Eamon and I never a crossword, as you know. No. You've worked with us for many years. Yes, yes. So I how know. Are you know what we need to do? We need to do more false laughter, because a lot of people think that it is very serious between you and me. So let's do... <laughs> <laughs> so the next time I say something to you, like, whatever... I always laugh. We'd have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Bend over double. OK, okay. that's it. Bend over double. That. There you go. Bend over. Bend over. Um, so are you all right in the kitchen, do you argue? No, we don't. We get on really, really well. And because we're very different, I'm chefy. she's, you know, home cook, and there's this sort of lovely thing that comes together. Lots of lovely tricks and bits and pieces. And we're loving it. So first show, Mother's Day, which is next... Next Sunday, Sunday 31st. 31st of March, 11.30, straight after you guys. Straight after us. Lovely. Which is really exciting yeah. for us. Really, really exciting. Good, that'd be so, lovely. So on the back of that... I thought what I'd do is, is sort of a little bit of a, a, a try and give you a, a taste of the show. Yes. And I'm going to make pavlovas. Lovely. Sweet. Because pavlovas are one of those sort of great things that I think everybody uh, loves, but, mm. but they also get confused about. What's a meringue? What's a pavlova? Mm. Um, and a pavlova is simply a shell on the outside, but the inside is like marshmallow. Yeah. And it should be gooey and it should be sticky. Oh, that looks so nice. And it should be. So, but the easiest thing, the thing about it is okay. two things, oven temperature and also egg whites. So egg whites, four egg whites. Oh, so gooey that's and so lovely delicate. inside. That's, that's amazing. But not Just bad, Nozzy. So the difference with a, a meringue would be hard. A meringue's yeah. hard, and yeah. I'm going to show you the secret. Right. So what you do is four egg whites, which I've, I've whipped up. And to that, once it's whipped, you slowly add 180 grams of sugar. It seems like a lot of sugar it is but they are a treat. <laughs> but this it is the last bit of sugar. But here's the, the difference between a meringue and a pavlova are these two ingredients. Vinegar, about a teaspoon or a bit more. Does that stop it splitting or something? No, it gives no. the marshmallow centre. Oh, OK. And corn flour. So corn flour and, a, and then a little tiny bit of vanilla for flavour. I'm doing this one-handed vanilla. Sorry, I'm not really I've helping you, am I? Done it. There we are. Multitasking, not bad for bloke. A bit of vanilla. So it is. That all? That's all it is. It's, it's the corn flour. And then and does it have noise. to stand in peaks? Yes, it's got to be peaks. And then when you do it, because I like them, I like them small. Mm -hmm. You make them as big as you like, but here's the smaller version, which I think is really simple. They're so delicious, John. Oh, I'm glad you oh. like them. That's good. Wait till they've got topping on them. Um, then what you do is you get two big spoons and some hot water, mm -hmm. and you literally just go a big spoonful yeah. and put a blob on a tray. OK. Ooh, and that's it. That's all you'll do. Big spoonful, Here blob on a tray. Oh, you have to water. pot. Okay. Here you go, big spoonful. Big spoonful. There you go. Blob on a tray. Blob it on a tray. So now what you've got is all... And if you think about this, imagine that nobody in your family can eat chocolate. Yes. There's Easter eggs done. Because you can have a, like an Easter yeah, egg, yeah, can't you? Do you yeah, like? Yeah. They go onto an oven at 100 degrees on fan mm -hmm. for about an hour and a half, then you open the oven up. Now, I'm going to show you a really... When you say you open it up and then leave them in there? Leave them in there, turn the oven off, but let them, just them cool in the oven with the warmth. OK. But here is now the best thing in the world, the best inventions in the world for topping a pavlova. As a chef, what we used to do was make up a passion fruit pulp with straining the seeds and you do all this sort of stuff and you put half the seeds back, which is lovely because you've got too many seeds and there's too much. But that's a very, very lovely sauce, of course. But it's a bit time-consuming. So what you do now is you simply go to the supermarket and you buy these tubs of fruit yoghurt. Yoghurt? Look at that. Raspberry, yeah. passion fruit, uh -huh. mango... All done, or there's purees like mango puree, raspberry puree, and so to decorate them, pretty simple stuff again. Is you take a, a, a pav, I love that you've eaten them as they were. Oh, that's that's really, right, they really were so nice. Take a pav, and then you can top the family, whatever you like to do, but you just put a little a dint in the top, like that, mm -hmm. 
And the reason I do that is because I want the cream, which I've whipped, and that's or yogurt. Flavored cream. That's flavoured cream or yogurt. Mm. And all you do again is just take a little bit of hot water with a spoon, and you simply take and you just run that through, and you get a lovely little sort of quinelli mix that goes across the top. Mm. And that's yolk. Now, should you decide that you're so lovely, is that um, a passion fruit flavoured? That's yogurt. a mango flavoured mango. yogurt, which is really good. It. And then what you can do is do. Um, maybe you just a, a minute and a half, John. Yes, loads of time. <laughs> and um, then some nice mango across the top, which is good. And then if you wanted to do raspberry, for instance, you do Great exactly colours, the same thing. mate, as well. The Aren't contacts, they just gorgeous? Yeah. Mm. But, and then, raspberry. So now some raspberry and do that across the top. And then some fresh and raspberries, some real, real which is raspberries. good. Yep, that's fine. Dum -dum. And then we're going to turn this to make this a bit more tropical. So what we thought we'd do is sprinkle some coconut across the top. So now we're on holidays. Nice. And all we need now is a big glass full of rum, yeah. which would be really good. And then you're really <laughs> on holidays. And then mix up some passion fruit pulp, spoonful across the top. And you've got yourself every flavour nice. of passion fruit and mango and, and raspberry. raspberry and whatever you want. And pavlovas. And it's, and it's all it's chewy mm. and yummy and sticky and gorgeous. And I need to tell you about the biggest pavlova I saw last night. Quickly. Mm -hmm. It was in the shape of longleats, the word longleats. No. Because I went to the koala gala last the night. Koala gala. Because they're bringing over koalas from South Australia and they're going to longleats. And there's going to be koalas around yeah. London next week. Look out for them. Okay. Koala gala. Koala gala. Uh, for all yeah. details, not of the koalas, but of the um, the recipe details, it's there. It's on our app. And uh, John and Lisa in their kitchen. Sunday at what time? Sunday, eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. Okay. Next Sunday. Um,